Welcome back. Well, we have Mayor Carol Moore here, who is going to give us a library update. Well, welcome. It's been a while. It has been a while, and you've had a lot of things going on. What's new with you? Oh, gosh. Well, you know, I just report the news and information every day, and it's all been going great. Well, you're doing a great job, well, that's for sure. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's been good. I've been doing some traveling, too, so you've know, got to fit everything in to make life good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm happy to hear that. It's and, and I know you're, you're super busy for the city of Laguna Woods, and um, there's been a lot of changes, and there's also a lot of uh, waiting going on, which I know you're very anxious to get the library finished. Definitely. But you're certainly making some progress. So in, in light of, you know, in looking at what the library is going to offer, tell, tell us a little bit about it and why it's different. Okay, the library, this library, it, it, I think one of the questions that comes up in the community is we, we have a village library and, you know, what does this library do? This library is different and there is a need for both. This uh, library, because we are part of the Orange County Public Library system, right. that then we have access to a lot of materials. There are more than 1.6 million physical items available through our public uh, Orange County Public Library system, mm -hmm. and so all of that material that uh, that book clubs use and so forth is available. So mm -hmm. that's that's one big thing. Mm -hmm. um, the, our library also has access to ebooks and, and also to databases right. and virtual programs and events as well as classes in computing. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's another feature that makes it a little bit different from the uh, from our other library. Right. Uh, this library also has access to broadband and free Wi-Fi support. Yes. Uh, for, so people who come in, they they have access to that. And probably another big one is that our seniors can get personalized help with um, e-readers, with their smartphones, with their tablets, and they can make appointments and get one-on-one -on -one even. So right. these are other uh, benefits that come up with it. One other one, too, is that the Orange County Public Library has a memory lab to preserve documents. So people have documents that they want to, pre it could be photos, audio, visuals, right. uh, and they can be digitized. So there's one lab permanent in Tustin, and then we have uh, a mobile lab. Okay. So people who want to make an appointment and do that, that is also available. Those are, those are just some of the services. Um, the other thing is we have book clubs. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the Orange County Public Library does encourage that because we have multiple copies. And uh, so there are multiple copies for book clubs. They mm -hmm. encourage it, and book mm -hmm. clubs are using it right now. And then there is a wide variety of language. So uh, individuals who prefer to have their book and, and uh, everything, even Tagalog. So we have wow. a, really some uh, widespread availability of, of uh, uh, significant world languages. So there you go. So now all of these things you currently have being offered in the space in which you have uh, the library right now, right? So now you're building a whole new facility. Right. So the facility is just off the side of mm -hmm. the city's uh, building. You can and it's, it's in the same patio as you can see here. Uh -huh. Now what I'd like to know is, is it really just offering the same things but an expanded version of all those things? And we things? can offer more because we okay. didn't have the space. Even though this library is not... Uh, the large size that you would see in Aliso Viejo or whatever. I mean, some of the libraries that are rather, and Mission Viejo has their right. own library. They're yeah. not part of the Orange County system. But uh, the library, if you look at the, is that photo showing right now? I think it mm -hmm. is. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you look to the right, uh, you see the, that gray box. Right in there is the library itself. And then that the part with the, um, the uh, tile roofing. And to the left where you see the two overhead posts, that's going to be open. And that will be, uh, it, things that kind of evolved during the process of the design of the library and the conditions that we're living in now. People often like to be outside. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the bottom photo, you can see it too. That room that you see, the, the windows are open. That room will have some doors that will slide back and you can do things, but it will be available for more of an outdoor kind of an activity, more fresh yeah. air in there. And then th this is the interior then you can see of the library itself. Okay. And then I think we were looking also in that large photo when we looked and we saw the, the aerial shot. You're seeing, oh, okay, can you see right there? The steps come up and you see all that area there. Yeah. That area will be available for activities. And okay. uh, it could be, you know, luncheons, dinners, whatever, outdoor use because 
that is more important today to be, I personally like to be out of doors, but I always have, I'm mm -hmm. an outdoor person, but even more so enhanced because we like uh, not to be in crowded situations quite as much. We're more yeah. comfortable when we yeah. are. Not that you can't be, but right. you know, there's that option too. But Go you're ahead. but you're moving everything from inside where it is yes. now into this new building, correct? And Lisa, it is so crowded because <laughs> our our librarians, bless their hearts, are so patient and so helpful. And li the librarians, by nature, are people who who want to help people. So yeah. they're they're very helpful people by nature anyway. And they're working in a very crowded space yeah. because the books aren't located right there. Now, a lot of the books for our library will not be located there. They'll, they'll be coming in. Be, that's part, being part of the system. We don't need it, the huge building as much because we have access to all those books and they're being shuffled around anyway. That's oh, what see. makes the okay. Orange County Public Library so efficient. I see. Yeah, because when you do go to some of these other libraries, they are rather large. But you did mention Mission Viejo and you said that they're not part of the no, that's their own city library. That's their own city library. Mm -hmm. So they're not part of the Orange County no, Public no, Library. No, oh, I see. A couple okay. of cities uh, uh, chose to have their own. They're not part of the system, and they okay. chose to have their own public okay. libraries. Uh, in this case, when I'm going back, I told you there were 1.6 million physical items. Yeah. Think about that, and that's available. So you don't have to buy books, repeat books for all yeah. these libraries because they're moved around. And when gotcha. they see the popularity of a specific book, perhaps, then it goes to that library where the need is, and then it's moved. Someone said, well, it would be inefficient, you know, the cost of moving the books. Yeah. Actually, it's not. Oh, okay. It's far less expensive because we don't have to store them because, yeah. remember, they're spread out over that whole area. So right. it's a very financially uh, right. efficient program, too. Right. Well, that's, a, that's good to know because, like you said, you know, you have things that are popular that everybody's looking for, but you have them right there, so that's great. So what do you think is the timeline? I mean, any guesstimations of when it might be done? Oh, wow. Uh, the, what you saw there, when we finish the exterior, with the, the way this works, the city is responsible for the building itself and, and uh, you know, constructing it. But when it comes to the interior, then that is turned over to the Orange County Public Library, and they oh. will do the interior. They will do the wiring up for oh, for the uh, you know Wi-Fi and so forth, sure. the programs that they'll offer. So they have some time there themselves. They'll bring their own uh, bookshelves and do that kind of thing on the interior. So we're get heading within oh I possibly by the first week of October we should be pouring that flooring you saw oh, where the steps come up mm -hmm. I think that could be in within a couple of weeks and then uh, it gets down to the windows and the windows in our uh, city hall also had to be changed because they weren't they weren't efficient windows so okay. so that kind of puts in there they're very large uh, curved windows you saw yeah. that so yeah. that puts a little uh, damper on moving very fast yeah. and then uh, putting the windows in the library itself although mm -hmm. I showed you that one building that's yeah. you know it's going to be open and part of the building and then the interior I would say ooh, I, I, I would be surprised if it were finished by the beginning of December only because it depends well weather permitting of course too you just there's that know. there's yeah. that and then has the Orange County Public Library have materials on hold that they're when I'm talking about materials I'm not talking about books I'm talking about the the right desk and all of that kind of material yeah. Yeah. if they have that and they can put it in then it'll go faster so do, I don't know if that'll be back ordered for them because that's their portion of it so yeah. there you well, go Good job. It's looking good. I'm glad you're making progress. I we mean, are. And, and it's going to be awesome when it's done. I did have one little thing I wanted to add at our city. We offer a, uh, if people want to make an appointment on shredding and they're oh. interested in shredding, they can bring, bring their material in, make an appointment, and they can do it right there, and then it's taken off site. And, Is and, there a uh, charge for that? There's no charge. Really? Yeah, that's a nice service. Oh, that is a nice mm -hmm. service. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, I think that would be great. Yes. So they can also find that information on your website, I assume? I think it is on the website, okay. but I'm not positive. But anyway, it's a good point. That should be on the website. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the update. We appreciate the information. You bet. Thanks for having right. me. Thank you, Carol. I enjoyed it. If you want more information about the library or anything that happens at the city, you can always go to the cityoflagunawoods.org. We'll be right back.